that shit hits the fan. It isn't that easy because... Uh, We have to keep pushing, man. We have to keep pushing, and, and I'm, I'm not really. Uh, but we already have it. I mean, it's already a bit like a few, in, in a few uh, days from now, they will see that it's a big intrusion and manifestation. Hi, I'm Mikey, and let me introduce you to Circus, the first multi chain gamified DAO NFT marketplace creation platform. What we want is that you can actually deploy your own NFT marketplace. And it's not just about your marketplace, but you can actually attract creators and collectors to mint inside your platform. So it's like a, a no code um, building of your own NFT marketplace. And we will be deploying this to different blockchain protocols. So Initially, we would start with Binance Chain because that's the one that has the cheapest gas fees. But eventually, we will also be building to other EVM compatible blockchain. And with, uh, with the power that is provided on parachains, we can also deploy to Polkadot and even to Solana. Right? By the way, let me just do a quick tour about uh, on our uh, dashboard admin where you can actually um, set up your marketplace and view steps okay so this is like the common screen that you might actually see and from here you can actually select what kind of blockchain which EVM network would you like to choose I'm gonna go for Binance test chain for now because our contracts are currently deployed in testnet right and then I'm gonna connect my wallet using MetaMask. So this will um, connect to my MetaMask. Hold on a second, it's just loading right now. So it's doing authentication. Okay, there we go. So when it connects, it, it automatically loads all of the other, uh, all of the Meta contracts that we have. By the way, the Meta contract stores our statistics about a marketplace. That also includes like total invites, total minted, the use mint tokens. Uh, this would actually allow you to use your own um, token of choice as long as that is paired with a stable coin. Okay, and I'm gonna explain that later on this video. So we have platform mint fee uh, distributed to inv inviters, we have available rewards, the ringmaster mint fee, which basically uh, what you would actually earn to your platform, right? And then we have total transaction, um, total solds, and so on and so forth. So these are the statistics. So it's actually easy to deploy. You have just, you know, go to deploy, put in the name of your meta, and then that's it. Uh, that should actually deploy this right away, right? Then let me go to the marketplaces, all right? So in order for you to actually deploy your own NFT marketplace, I actually deployed uh, already today, earlier today. So uh, I'm gonna show you. So basically you might actually get some kind of screen like this, right? It, it's gonna load that into the screen. So this would be uh, the standard layout for one of the marketplace. Probably looks familiar, right? But we are introducing uh, more themes and layout in the future, um, not just re regular content. So I'm just gonna close on this right now. Uh, we are still building the uh, the front end side, but that this would be available, you know, in, in a few days from now. Okay. So here, um, you could actually do like add marketplace, and you can choose what whatever logo you have there. Say for example, I'm gonna use, I don't know. Oh my, where did it go? Right, so let's see, I'm gonna choose this uh, logo right now, okay? I'm gonna choose whatever logo is there. And then I'm gonna select um, the re one of the requirements, basically you have set up your meta, so right? So that this will store the statistics. Right, I'm gonna uh, set, set it there. 
and then I'm gonna um, select a I'm gonna uh, get an LP token which is basically paired with a stable coin so it's a it's a, a base kind of word thing copy paste thing you know just paste it there and that should automatically load those contents so it will determine which decentralized exchange was it did it uh, was it created where it was created and it shows you the token address so the marketplace tokens right and then we have the stable token pair which is a which is, this is actually a, a Venus BUSD right so I'm gonna put in put in here let's say you know I'm gonna set like captor NFT would be the, the name of my marketplace and then captor would be the the URL that would um, that I will go to if I want to share start sharing my marketplace so I'm gonna go like you know this will be this this will serve as my subdomain right so there we go I've set it up um, put it there I'm probably like just gonna go with brand meta in here and then let me create this uh, all right it's uh, creating the transaction in MetaMask so I'm, I'm still it's still loading all right let me confirm this all right so it should be loading right now and in a few seconds from now it should be um, added to the marketplace centers okay let's just wait for that all right there we go so deployment successful and this should refresh it I don't, I don't have to do anything all right there we go so we have now uh, three marketplaces <laughs> and then I'm gonna go this this would this is your circus center address this is the contract address of this marketplace and this is the meta address, which refers to the meta statistics. And then I'm going to do what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to deploy site. So I will have, you know, I could actually click or open my NFT using with my domain. So I'm going to view store right now. And there we go. It, it loads it. All right. And there we go. So we have capture NFT and so on and so forth. This is a standard interface, right? So there, but eventually again, we will create or uh, invite, you know, um, somebody, some, 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 some team or UI creators who could actually help us as well, you know, setting up a new kind of interface that you can, you guys could actually upgrade to in the future. So that's how easy it is to set up your marketplace. And then we have um, the collections, right? So we have the marketplace. This, by the way, handles all of the uh, swap and liquidity functions. And it does all of the uh, splitting for the payments for the mint fees and the transaction fees. So this is a very important contract. And then after that, we have the center. We will need to develop, uh, deploy a collection. All right, so right now I actually have deployed like three collections already. Um, it, and I already also tried minting to those collections. Um, there, you know, contains, uh, it, it's there in the background right now. So let me show you how easy it is to actually create your own, collect, um, your own collection. And there are options or collection types that you can choose from. We have single type, which is uh, the ERC721, a multiple type, which is the ERC1155. Oh, by the way, all of our contracts are using um, um, standard contracts coming from Open Zeppelin. All right, and we just you know added some uh, additional features to actually make it better and um, we put that inside a deployer so that it deploys you know um, when we there's that so we, we we made some some little tweak on the on the contract so that um, it's much easier for us to use it right 
and you don't have to like you know learn solidity on in all this um, 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 co smart contract programming language just for you to deploy your own NFT marketplace and you can still customize the name of your collection and whatever symbol you want to put in there all right in the future we will have actually subscription types um, this kind of collection is good for membership types so like you know there are there could possibly be nfts where uh, there are kind of like tiers or membership levels that you can only view a certain collection uh, based on a certain collectible based on the subscription you are at right and then there's also the other one which is a generative features um, this one is something that you could actually better mean how random a specific feature is in an NFT so it's the inspiration behind that is something that you can relate to crypto punks so if you know if you are familiar with crypto punks um, what it has is that it, it, you can track how random each features of the of the pixelated avatar is and then we have the emitting which basically has two types the uh, token emitting and then the other one is the uh, nft emitting so it's like you know um, it's emitting nfts when uh, when a collector purchased something or per completed a set something like that and then there's a stakeable probably have learned about that in DeFi. Um, and then there's also a charity type of collection you know proceeds would go to a, a charitable institution and there's an auction type which you basically can bid and there's a timed auction as well so this are all in the workings and this will be available very very soon all right we have right now the center all right let me just deploy my collection so i created my cap my nft which is a capture nft and then i'm going to set it up i'll capture uh the name of the this collection is capture um 721 collection all right and then i'm going to put it there capture 721 and i'm going to create this so this is an e, uh, er721 collection that i'm deploying right now all right well the good thing about you know um doing it doing this as well is that you can actually save deployment costs because when you deploy um using uh the deployers that we have it's uh it's gonna less it's gonna cost less gas in doing so so you would have your own contract and then you know you can basically so it's right right now loading okay there we go so there we have the capture 721 collection Oh, by the way, the reason why it stacks on the bottom because uh, this one at the top loads first. So all the 721 collections loads first, and then the uh, the multiple edition goes there, and then so on and so forth. All right. So there we go. Now we have 721 collection. Right. It shows you the token um, that will be used on this marketplace. So this could actually vary depending on what kind of tokens you want to use again as long as that is paired with the usd token or, or you know whatever is binance usd or dai or usdt whatever it is that um is available on the blockchain of your choice and there you can do it there and then there's also the deployer address which basically you know just the deployer who deploys this contract all right so let me show you a test mint right now okay let me, in order for us to actually do a mint, we have to, of course, approve first how much token does the collector, I mean, the creator needs to pay in order for them to mint something. And, and the amount is equivalent to at least $1, all right? The, the idea behind that is that the, uh, the mint fee that we collect 50% of that goes to the ringmaster, basically you, who would be deploying your own marketplace. 25% goes to the platform, which is Circus. And the 25% goes to the inviter. The reason why we added the inviter is because we believe that when people get rewarded, 
it's easy for the platform to grow its user base in a short period of time and even you know keep its longevity because we believe that uh, in blockchain in a crypto space word of mouth is very very important right so there we go so right now we have total supply of zero and I'm gonna try to mint something right I, there's actually a script behind the, the, the uh, behind this code so you know it, it does the minting it adds some 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 information about a mint so that will be available very soon with the front end UI you're gonna see that All right so I'm deploying uh, no no I'm deploying I'm minting <laughs> a collectible right now okay there we go let's just wait for that uh, once this is done all right we'll I'm just gonna refresh this a little bit because sometimes it's uh, the network so I should be able to see like total supply of one now. All right, there we go. And if you notice the approve button, all the uh, the amount also changed because this one gets um, the quotation directly from the um, router uh, or the Dex router, right? So now let me go to the Meta Stacks. So again, earlier, if you notice, I've selected brand Meta, right? And then it shows me how much, how many collectibles was minted. So we got one, and then how many mint, how many tokens were actually mint, used for minting? So four tokens. The platform fee, the ringmaster fee, which is going to be you. This is going to be circus, and the rewards. Oh, by the way, this one shows an available rewards here. It's because we don't set an inviter, but if there's an inviter, it should show. Um, here, distributed to inviters. All right, so that's how it works. And hopefully, hopefully guys, you're gonna uh, check our project, check our platform, and uh, you know we want to see you soon. And thank you so much for watching this video. And that actually drives the entire market. Uh, market crazy, yeah. Like, yeah. And the same thing with we can actually do with this. Like, what is the whole point about though? Yeah. What is lost if it's not being